welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the NECA, Friday the 13th, Part 6, Jason Lives Figure. This figure measures in at about 7.5 inches tall. It comes with a fence post, extra hand, machete, knife, and gravestone for Jason Voorhees. This figure only comes with one mask, and that is the Jason Lives mask. It has the slight axe wound there, and the one triangle, or chevron. It has the blacked out eye holes, which I really like when you can't see Jason's eyes in figures. And other than that, it's a pretty simple and clean mask, actually, and surprisingly. Underneath, you have this Jason head with the really interesting skin texture all around. He has the dirty skull part right here from the axe wound and these really gnarly teeth and one of his eyes is all shut from when he got the machete to the face. Uh, even though you don't see it too much in the film, I think this is a very good Jason face and better than the Freddy vs. Jason one that I have. This Jason also comes with a few accessories. The first being the fence post, which comes in two pieces right here. What you do with the fence post is you take Jason and you take his hand right here and you stick the fence post through the hand through the top and through the bottom until it links up in the center so that Jason can hold it like that and I think that looks really good uh, other than the fence post he has this other hand right here which, if I take the other hand off and put it in, uh, you can see is a bit wider. And that's used for things like the machete and the knife. Uh, I can take the machete and the knife out of their sheaths. Starting with the machete, it goes right in here. And it uh, fits in pretty well. And also it comes out pretty well. It does need a bit of force, but you can eventually pull the machete out. And you can stick that right into Jason's hand, like this. And I think it looks pretty good with Jason, uh, as it is. And he also has the knife right in here, which can also come out of its uh, sheath. And it also fits in the hand. Sorry I put on the hand a little loose for this review, but it's easy to take on and off like that. But, yep, the hand just fits the knife pretty well. I think I actually kind of like the knife more than the machete. Obviously, the machete is the look for Jason, but I think the knife just looks a little better and you can get him more menacing like that. But out of all the accessories he has for weapons, I like the uh, fence post the most. Since it reminds me of a spear, I guess. Last but not least is his gravestone with one little vine right there. Uh, it says Jason Voorhees. And it's a pretty good sculpted and made thing. Going on to the detail of this figure. There's obviously the mask, which looks really good. Which you can take off for the uh, really nasty face with all the veins right there. We've already talked about that. You have the torso with the multiple fence post stabs which also continue on to the back. You have the belt, which wraps around his torso with the two sheaths for the weapons, so the weapons can fit in, along with his dart pouch. Right here, you have his uh, dirty up pants with all the blood stains on them, along with his brownish green work boots and his very dirty gloves, which I think they did a good job on. Overall, I think this is a very good figure, and I really like having him in my collection. I've brought in the Freddy vs. Jason figure for a little bit of comparison. You can see that you can see the eyes through his mask, and not on this figure. He also has an entirely different wardrobe than this Jason, and he's also about an inch taller because he has these platform boots, and the actor is a lot taller in the movie. Um, other than them being Jason and a few similarities between the hockey mask. They're quite different figures, but I feel like I like the Jason Lives figure a bit more, because he's a classic looking Jason, and I like all of his accessories, 
and the fact that he has places to hold him. Anyway, thank you for staying till the end of this video. Like and subscribe. Bye!